All right, welcome back to KX. As you can see, sun setting later and later each day, and boy, oh boy, did it feel like spring out there. Not only does it look like spring with the longer days, we're sitting at 60 degrees here in Bryan College Station, despite the sun setting about 15 minutes ago, and the reason why, those southerly winds, yeah, they're pumping in warm, moist air across the area. 60s for southern parts of the Brazos Valley, upper 50s across northern parts of the area. So if you have any evening plans, I think it's mild. You really don't need the jacket out there, but you will need it by tomorrow morning, okay? Everybody going to fall into the low 40s, maybe some upper 30s for outlying areas, the rural areas, but we're quickly going to warm up everybody in the 60s by lunchtime. 66 degrees here in Bryan College Station, and we're going to climb into the low 70s here. 71 degrees by 5 p.m. Get outside, enjoy it, skip work if you got to. I'll, I'll write you a doctor's note because it's going to be absolutely beautiful out there. Even more beautiful on Thursday. Check this out. We're going to see temperatures 15 to 20 degrees above average, 70s and 80s in the forecast. Not only are we going to have this upper level ridging across the area, we're going to see southerly flow off of the Gulf of Mexico. Those two variables going to allow those temperatures to warm up pretty efficiently. It's going to feel like spring out there, not late winter. The only caveat to this is that with the southerly flow off of the Gulf of Mexico, there could be just a little bit of cloud cover. If that cloud cover is thick enough, it may prevent temperatures from hitting 80 degrees, but I'll continue to keep an eye on that best chance for the 80 degree reading is going to be near that I-35 corridor. Regardless, it's going to be an absolutely beautiful day out there if you like these warmer temperatures. But wouldn't you know it, it's quickly going to come to an end as we head into the evening hours. We're going to see a cold front work its way from the northwest to the south and the east late Thursday. And that's going to create an uptick in the rain chances pretty much along into the east of I-35. That's where there's the best chance for a few showers out there. And then higher rain chances as you move toward the Arklatex region. Some better moisture there. Some showers and storms of possibility for northeastern parts of Texas up into Arkansas as well as Missouri. We're just going to see spot rain chances here in the Brazos Valley. The best chance is going to be for eastern parts of the area, but we're included here in BCS. A few spot showers are possible. Trace maybe a tenth of an inch if you're lucky. I think the best rain chances are going to be near the I-45 corridor and to the east of I-45. That's where there could actually be uh, some heavier rain, maybe up to two tenths of an inch of rain. And of course, our western zone, unfortunately, as you move toward the I-35 corridor, looking like here, there may not be any rain at all, just an uptick in the cloud cover. But I'll continue to monitor this. I'm holding out hope that maybe we can squeeze out just a little bit more moisture and pick up some rain. We're dealing with the below average rain. Not only did we have below Low average rain in 2020 so far 2021 yeah we're well below average in terms of the rainfall department we're starting to see uh, unfortunately the drought conditions expand across the area the dryness expand temperatures a roller coaster over the next few days once we see the warm temperatures on Thursday those temperatures going to come down over the next several days we're keeping an eye on an Arctic air mass mid to late next week Arctic high going to dive into the northern plains and that's going to send a glancing blow of cold air into the Brazos Valley as well as Texas where does this Arctic high go that's the big question is it going to go off toward the southeast or dive toward the south right now I'm thinking it's going to move more toward the Great Lakes as well as the Northeast. I'll continue to keep an eye on this because I'm really frigid air going to come on down, but I think our temperatures will be below average regardless with that Arctic high working its way right on down into the Northern Plains, reminding us that winter is not over, Tristan. So some cooler temperatures in that forecast, unfortunately, uh, get ready for it. All right, thank you, Christopher. Now get this, an Indiana woman received her second dose of the COVID vaccine on her 100th birthday. Meet Mildred Grassman. Just a few weeks ago, she told pharmacists that she would be getting her second dose on her birthday, so staff members worked to make it all special for her. So congratulations to her. Happy birthday. She got the second dose. That's that's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah. Present. She doesn't look a day over 40. Look at her out there, Tristan. She is doing right. her thing. Happy birthday. Look at you, Mildred. Doing all this stuff. Gotta love it. Sending blessings to Mildred. Yes. All right. Well, we'll be back tonight at 10 for more KX. See you then.